Hello everybody, this is me, the Hope Critic, back again with another video, and this time I am very excited to be bringing with you breaking news. Well, not so breaking news, it came out today guys, this is big, big news, as you probably already heard, but if you haven't, well, come to me for this news, because starting July 19th, Smackdown will be going live on USA Network, yes, that's right, the network that hosted Raw for months, years, it's a showcase show really. But on a new night with distinct roster, that is it coming straight from the horse's mouth. This came from WWE on their YouTube channel. You can also check out a video with Shane McMahon and um, Stephanie McMahon where they announced this as well, saying who will be the uh, GM. And on the actual website, this is stated it. So it's a real thing, guys. No lying here. No tricks. No chip. Anyways, a SmackDown shakeup is about to completely reshape all of WWE. Beginning in July 19th, the second longest running weekly episodic program in television history, SmackDown will move from Thursday to Tuesday. This is in a bid to make SmackDown a new, new show. What are they doing with this? They are basically taking SmackDown and they are making it like Raw. It's only going to be two hours, not three hours like Raw, but it's going to be a redoing of the brand split. The brand split we never thought we would ever see again. It has come back and this time they are doing it even, in my opinion, hopefully guys, I am with all hope thinking this will be even better than last time. With SmackDown, it's going to have a new roster guys, a new roster, you heard me right, major ramifications as a draft will be held before the first ever episode which is July 19th, put that on your calendars guys because I don't know when the draft will be, they haven't really announced that yet, but a new roster will be decided from a draft. This draft will combine rosters from Raw and SmackDown as they get drafted, obviously, just like the original draft. Basically what a draft means is you bring all the wrestlers from both Raw and SmackDown, but it'll all just be Raw this case, which because all the roster is just one roster, bring it together and then split them right down the middle. So, you know, just random wrestlers, they'll all be thrown about and we'll get a very, hopefully, even up roster. This is exciting because personally, I think in the positives of this decision, it will mean a lot more showcase of time. For you, you can see <clears throat> even Cesaro. Cesaro will get pushed to the moon in my opinion. I believe this is a great decision for people like Cesaro, who will, obviously, he will get a great bit of backing from this. He may be a SmackDown star. Hopefully, SmackDown will become some sort of, you know, savior for us because... Obviously, Raw is still a flagship show. I mean, come on, it's, it's hardly going to change after this. But Raw, SmackDown will give the wrestlers that have that star ability, but aren't would not make it otherwise because of creative or whatever or differences. They can do it on SmackDown. So this will be a great, great opportunity for Cesaro to take that brass belt. He will brass ring. He will reach the skies with this new company anyways i'm very excited still under WWE, of course and um, but this is just a very exciting guys on the video if you watch that shane mcmahon and steffi mcmahon talking about it they basically went through how smackdown will be moving live to tuesdays for two hours of course uh, it's gonna be just like raw and the whole live set of format obviously another positive being that smackdown who cared about smackdown it was really bad because no one watched it because you could hear about the spoilers and also nothing ever happened on it because why would everything, anything ever happen on it? I mean, nothing happens on SmackDown. It's just like, it's just boring, guys. This is really n no more I have to say, really. It's two hours of crap. Worse than Raw, honestly. And it's just boring matches. So this is hopefully going to make, you know, it more, I guess, like Raw, I guess, in a way. Because it will have, obviously, more storylines. And it will actually have played out <laughs> stuff going on. So it might actually be watchable for you guys. And one of the main reasons they did do this was because of advertising. Now, if you know, it gets played on tape. So it gets recorded on Tuesday and, and played out on Thursday. What they did was they found out, they realized, and obviously this is kind of an ongoing thing. Uh, everybody skipped through the ads because it's tape, right? So... It's, it's not live, right? So they skipped through the ads and they were not ma and WWE were not making revenue. So this decision was kind of an executive one on behalf of that problem that they were facing. So this is a very, you know, a thing that maybe, yeah, I just agree with, kind of, I do agree with. And I think that's a, yeah, it was a good executive decision on their behalf. 
we'll just read the end of the article right now. With so many explosive competitors emerging from WWE NXT and top superstars like John Cena and Seth Rollins returning from injury, WWE's star powered roster has never been stronger, which is maybe a lie, but its historic division and the monumental revelation of SmackDown's shift to a live format each week reflect the excitement and unpredictability of WWE's new era. What awaits SmackDown on its new night starting this July, which live shows will claim your favourite superstars? What what will all the mean? Sorry, my writing just gone all gone off for the future of sports entertainment. What does what will this mean, guys? Stay tuned as WWE prepares to get shaken up like never before. This is a start, guys. And I know they say that the roster just being incredible. I may have to disagree slightly with that you know statement right there. I mean, saying John Cena and Seth Rollins two wrestlers are back. We still do have a plague of wrestlers that could possibly be going out sometime in the future. So when I did say that the roster would be more spread out, I also was going just to bring on to the negative of that, which would mean storylines are going to be a lot more back to basics, but also there's going to be more storylines because there'll be two separate shows for five hours to so two hours more content each week where storylines have to be juiced. And we must remember what's going to happen for pay per views. But again, Seriously, it's going to mean, you know, Bo Dallas is going to be in a storyline, like, people that no one really care about, and they're going to, are going to be in storylines. There's probably going to be more tag teams drawn out of this as well. So it, it will mean there will be a lot more garbage at the bottom, that, like, jobber matches, there'll probably be a lot more of that because of these two rosters, where the roster has to be stretched out. And, of course, we're not g gaining that many roster members. I mean, if you already think about it, a lot of NXT members are already on Raw. So what we have now is probably what we're going to have just split down the middle, so it's going to be a bit, I don't know, drawn out, I think. The roster pool, again, is not incredibly deep like it was 10 years ago, so the new era, they're going to have to do something here, I'm not sure what, but they're also going to have to put some star-studded names on SmackDown. Now, here's where it comes to what I think they should do. So, in the future, SmackDown will be its own live show. Uh, for, for Love of SmackDown, I think, in my opinion, guys, this is just me, this is just my opinion, just remember that, that they should, in fact, bring over some stars and power. So maybe they should put The Rock. Yes, that's right. From SmackDown Hotel. He, the showcase of eh, of The Rock. He will become the GM, hopefully. I mean, obviously, it's probably going to come down. And most likely, it'll be Mr. McMahon. But this is my dream world. Even we could have him as a guest host once in a while. The Rock should go to SmackDown and do some work there. We need to have that you know, at the start of the show, at the start of this, you know, new debut of this new live show, we need some star set power and we need some attraction other than, oh, it's just a live show now. We need something to attract people to SmackDown. So, in that opinion, because, like, it's on Tuesdays, just remember, it's Monday Raw is still on Mondays, this is on Tuesdays. So, getting people to go and watch this on a Tuesday night, which is a hard feat because, obviously, they already have to do it on Monday, so you're definitely going to have to have some pulling power. I know... The first few weeks are not going to be that hard because people are going to be very curious. But after that, they need to have something. So Rock should the Rock should definitely be there. Maybe the Edge because Edge made his name on SmackDown. You must remember. And one name I think would work perfectly on SmackDown is Brock Lesnar. He should be brought back and just showcase himself on the SmackDown. I was just thinking about this. There's no other name really that will get the crowd on their feet. I know you're thinking, but wouldn't he be? Tim, wouldn't he be in a rivalry with somebody from Raw? No, we can create a new rivalry. And I'm thinking of names Cesaro. They could be names that we go to SmackDown. Imagine the pop we'll get at the draft if we saw... I don't know if you know what Brock Lesnar would be in this draft part personally because he's not really a full-time member. But imagine if he was and he was drafted to SmackDown and we had a, a new feud with him. Obviously, we want to build superstars and we're not going to put the two biggest superstars against each other because we already had Brock versus John Cena and Brock versus Roman Reigns, so we need to do something new. So, the decision there on my behalf would be to bring Brock Lesnar as our main coach. Then we build up Cesaro. I mean, it's annoying because Damien Sandow has gone and Cody Rhodes is gone, and there were two that would fit fitted perfectly into like a mid-card, as well as Wade Barrett as well. But we could also bring over some others. Um, we got, again, Sheamus at the mid-level could build up the lower superstars. And we could have a mid card. Obviously, there's new championships for each card, so I believe they may be bringing up. I don't know. I don't believe they will be bringing up any more championships, in my opinion, personally. Um, uh, so I think they'll just stick with the United Intercontinental on 
uh, SmackDown possibly and the United States Championship on Raw and then have the W with the championships I believe they'll probably split them back so yeah that'll be annoying maybe they'll have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and then they'll introduce a new championship onto SmackDown maybe the WWE Network Championship would be a good idea I don't think they should just do the same thing and bring the WWE Championship and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship I know people will think do that but seriously they've only just introduced those like three years ago so that's just kind of stupid in my opinion they shouldn't do that please don't do that you've already trying to build up your new lineage on the new era so bring back the old championships seems a bit outdated to me next um the whole idea of the pay-per-views once in a while yes i think they should they're, i think what they're going to do is have more frequent pay-per-views on the w network because they have they remember they have the w network so they can definitely do that so more network specials i believe a good idea would be to have a SmackDown special and a Raw special. I know they're probably gonna ha they should probably try that out because they've done pay reviews before, but these are gonna be network specials, so it's not gonna be like they're gonna absolutely fail or bomb because these are on the network. So it's not gonna be much a big deal if not as many people watch it. But I believe they should do that. That'd be just add to the excitement. And then on the pay reviews are both SmackDown and Raw. That's my opinion. Um, but on the network specials, which are you know once in a while again, compared to the actual pay per views, which are still once a month, and the networks are kind of interspersed, they should probably be SmackDown Raw alone. I don't know, I don't know if they're what they're going to change the whole format there, but I don't know if they're going to make too much changes. I know it seems like everything's about to change and it's very exciting, but this is more a smart decision on behalf of their ratings. You must remember the whole concept behind this is due to the advertising. They want to make more money, but also, you know, introducing more merchandise and stuff. This will be a way to opportunity build more wrestlers and then get gain more money for the company. So it's obviously money making um, and a new way to grab interest for the first couple of months, of course. That's just the precursor. Um, but it's all a business plan, of course, guys. It's the McMahons behind this. We saw them in the trailer there. And Mr. McMahon and Shane McMahon and Stephanie McMahon announcing this. So it's definitely, yeah, it's a very cunning plan. I must agree, this is a very secretive thing. Um, I mean, this could be just me, but I think, yeah, don't get your hopes too high for, like, a drastic change, to be honest. I think John Cena will stay in Raw. I mean, this draft already next month. I'll probably do predictions before it, but anyways. John Cena will stay in Raw. Uh, Rowan Reigns possibly will stay in Raw as the champion. Um, Seth Rollins could possibly go to SmackDown. You never know. Dean Ambrose, again, I'd probably prefer him on SmackDown, but we don't know the whole stage. We don't know if all the sta if all the like the big wrestlers, like John Cena, who, big man John, he's obviously the biggest wrestler we got. Will he go to SmackDown to Raw? That will kind of precedent how other things go for other wrestlers because usually whatever shows he on is the big show, the leadership show, and the flagship show, and that's usually Raw, guys. So, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. I think I'll flip flop it around. And what's going to happen to NXT, of course, because NXT is already pretty drained, as I mentioned earlier. Will NXT stay the same? Will that stay, stay as an hour show? Probably, but anyways, I don't know. There you go, guys. Comment below your opinions on this. The incredible uh, news story just dropped today um, about the SmackDown and the, uh, most importantly, the brand split returning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, comment below. Slam that like button and comment below all your opinions on this and anything you want to ask me, guys, as well. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.